Hi, I would like to talk to you a little bit about some house houseplants that I have. I don't have a whole lot. I have a apartment where I don't have that much lighting in there, and um, and also I have kids, so I don't want too much houseplants in here where they can get into it and you know uh, make a big mess of them or kill them off. So uh, while they're in, while we're all in training of how to keep up with our house plant um, I have just a few I have some hanging right here is my peace lily and as you can see right here my peace lily uh, had a flower here it was white and it turned green along with the leaves I didn't know it could do that and then it has some babies here that started growing there and another one over here in the back and very very nice and they have been growing very well in the water. Um, I propagated the plant from a uh, from a pot, a soil pot plant, and I put these in the water and left the remaining of the plant inside of its pot. And I see that it has been doing very well. It's been here like about a month or so now, and it has taken root, more root there, and. I put rocks in there, you know, little pebbles to help it stay, you know, rooted and grounded. And they've been doing good. Low maintenance. I keep it at this window here. I put my curtain down and keep it at this window because the curtain will be in the way for me. But I, I'm going to put something else up to cover. But for now, I like this spot. It, it hits it just, the plants just right. Not direct sunlight, but a little light. And, um,. I mist spray them in the morning, you know, sometimes late in the evening, um, so they don't cook in the daytime, and they do very well. They uphold, the leaves are very strong and firm. I don't have to worry about trimming them as much as the one that's in the pot. And over here I have my, um, what is it, uh, philodendron. I have my philodendron plant right here it's been going growing good as well and I propagated that one and it grew back some more um, some, some more that I can cut off and propagate some more and spread around the house and these house plants that I have are low lighting or medium lighting and they help um, to clean the air so you can keep them around to help keep the air clean and stuff like that um, and, and help observe any um, toxins that you may have in your house, even when you're cooking and stuff like that, or the, um, even cigarette smoke or any other toxins that may be harm to your health. And I have um, a couple of other lilies. Really, this one I pulled down because I want to um, do something else with it. I may uh, propagate this one a little bit, maybe another time, uh, another it in two and um, and so I'm going to fix this one back up and this one up here that I have here just bloomed just a couple of days ago and it also grew in some more babies around the corner grew in some more babies here and like I said they, they grow very well they don't have to be rooted very well you know i just put a little bit of stuff in there i didn't put a whole lot um because of the small space that it has it, uh, of course eventually i'm going to probably move them to something a little bigger and roomier but for now i wanted them to take root so to, for, to help them take root um when starting out with the plant um you want to change the water out frequently like every couple of days or so every four or five days because it can form a little filmy, you know, slimy type stuff in there and look, you know, unclear and not so nice looking. And not only that, sometimes they can form little worms in there in the water, you know, if you, you know, don't change it out as much. But the worms are okay. I mean, the worms won't harm anyone or the plant. Um, you know, they, they manifest in there because of the, the humidity and the the temperature of the water and so anyway um sometimes that can happen within two days and you just clean the water out and uh, change
change it back in for fresh water. Now, um, you can use tap water uh, for these plants, you know, because they contain toxins anyway and absorb them. So tap water is fine for these types of plants. But if they're dying off kind of quick, you can use filtered water. Um, some people use clarified water, but I probably use like filtered water or you know some type of water that's more cleaner than the tap water. And I do have. I do have a, um, a snake plant. I have I have one big one, and I divided that up as well. And I have one on my desk, and I have um, one in a pot, and I have two that's been, that's been divided up as well um, um, around my house, my home. Um, and not only that, I hung up some others also in my living room. These right here are my hanging, my hanging, um, these right here are my hanging potos, or potos plants, and, um, I propagated these as well, and I put them in my hanging, uh, macrame, you know, my macrame project, so, um, it looks very elegant and very natural in the living room, and, uh, I have you know, um, in the, it, it has indirect light in my living room, but a bit more dim. So they tend to thrive okay here. They haven't died off yet. And my other piece um, hanging right here, I put in a cup <laughs> and hung it here uh, right next to the rest of the plant. And um, yeah. So this, these are my plants right here um, that I have, and this one is my snake plant that's in the pot. This is the one that I divided, and it grew in more, more stems just that quick, and uh, within a matter of uh, two weeks, which is great. <laughs> and not only that, um, they, the other name for it is uh, Mother in Law's Tom. They do the same. They help keep the air clean and absorb toxins and stuff in there. So you want to keep away from plants. I mean, not plants. I'm sorry. Keep these plants away uh, out of reach of children, unless, uh, especially if you have little ones that aren't trained not to bother the plant and animals not so loud and chewy as they can be toxic to, the, um, to their ingestion. So, I'm sorry, digestion. <laughs> And so, um, I like these plants here. They give off a nice green uh, texture to my living room. And not only that, you know, they're very, they're very elegant as well. You want to help mommy? Look, mommy's, mommy's talking about the plant. You want to tell them about the plant? Mm -hmm. You do? Mm -hmm. What about the plant? The plant is good. Yeah, the plant is right there. It's very nice, isn't it? Very strong, very sturdy. Your plant got can go up fast. Yes, and they're very durable, so they don't take a lot of water. You and give it just your enough plant water. Like and it's easy. It it have wide stuff and it's right. And it's very tall. And plant go right in your face. Yeah, and so and the plant, so, so the plant, um, if you was to leave uh, for a couple of days or something like that, um, you don't have to worry about it um, drying out and dying on you. They're very, very good with painting what it has. They're really tiny, they are small, and they are So, so yeah. And my other one, is well this pot potos as well but this one right here <laughs> this one is more in the water with no pebbles this this is a bigger glass and it has a lot of roots I just like the way it looks like that I chose not to put pebbles in with it but it it does very well and it it grew out it started to grow out this vine like down here trailing so as it grows it's going to trail you can train them to, to um, vine in any direction or any way you want 
um, but I chose to just let it be free and do what it wants to do. Yeah. And this is the one hey, in this the one soil. Yeah, like that one. It's not so, um, <laughs> and this one thrives very well, too, in the soil where there's low light. This one is really fine, and that one is really This is really fun. This one is really fun. Where my top? Where my top? And the big one. No, I regret it to be Okay. <laughs> right. So, okay, so now we're done. And now we're going to tell everyone we'll see them another time.